All right, welcome back everyone. So we are going to UV unwrap the vase we made in the last part. I'm going to UV unwrap this one. This is the one that I converted to polygons. I do have some extra objects in my scene. So a couple of nerve surfaces as well as a curve. So I'm going to delete those. You may want to keep your curve and play around with it and see what else you can create, but I'm going to get rid of mine. All right. Now let's move our object to the center of our scene as well. So go into your move tool. First, we'll uh, center this pivot. So click on this icon here. And then I'm gonna hold down X on the keyboard and click and drag this to here. So X will enable grid snapping. And then um, I'm gonna move the pivot to the bottom as well. So objects that would normally sit on a surface, I prefer that pivot to be on the bottom of them. So I'm gonna hold down D then V and click and drag and move this to the bottom as well. All right. And now um, before we UV unwrap this object, what I wanna do is um, take a look at it and maybe clean it up a little bit. So an object like this, which is kind of focused on say an ArcViz project, I have enough uh, topology on the outside to sell that realism. On the bottom, I would keep that topology as well. So to keep that geometry because I don't know where I would place this, you know, I would test it out in, in different scenes. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm capturing different shots and the object might also sit on say a glass surface. So I would keep that. Um, on the inside though, I would want to maybe get rid of some of these edges. So for an object like this, I would probably uh, maybe delete every second edge. So let me delete a, a few edges so you can see. I'm gonna double click here, hold down shift and um, double click here, here, and I would keep making my way up and get rid of some of those edges. I'm just gonna delete these. So I'm gonna hold down control and press delete. And you can see that it doesn't really change that form too much. And if um, this object um, you don't really see into, maybe the shot is further out, you can definitely um, reduce some of that topology. So I'll leave the rest the way it is, but you may wanna clean yours a little bit more, um, clean yours up a little bit more. All right. Um, and then finally, as a best practice, I always freeze my transformations and delete that history as well. So let's open up this uh, channel box. You can see that um, I don't really have much history, but I have some transforms over here. So I'll just um, freeze those transformations and delete the history. And let's rename this as well. So I'm gonna call this um, vase. Nice and simple. All right, now let's uh, UV unwrap this. So. To UV unwrap this, let's first um, switch to our UV editing workspace. So go up to your workspaces, there's a drop down, and we'll switch to uh, UV editing. The UV editing workspace gives us access to um, the viewport that we were in, as well as the UV editor and um, the UV toolkit along with some other panels as well. Um, the way we are going to UV unwrap this is we're going to use the 3D cut and sew tool so so tool um, to get to that tool you would go to the uv tab and down here you would find it um, to use this tool we need a projection first so we're going to do a camera based projection so make sure your object is selected and then go up here to uv and do a camera based uh, projection so the camera based projection creates a projection based on what the camera sees in this viewport so we're in the perspective panel so we're getting a perspective projection Next, uh, let's switch to object mode and then let's grab our 3D cut and sew tool. So go back here to the UV tab again and then down here, uh, click on this. All right, and let me show you how this tool works. It's actually quite simple. So if we double click on an edge, as long as that's a clean loop made of quads, it will most likely grab and cut along that entire loop. Um, if we hold down control and double click that, we can sew that back up. And then if we want to um, um, cut individual edges, all we need to do is click and drag and it'll cut along that, that edge or those edges. And then if we hold down control and click and drag, it will sew that back up. So really simple. Now let's um, add the cuts where we need them. So on my vase, um, I want to put a cut along the inner lip of the top here so maybe this edge so i'm going to double click that and i'll add a cut there and then on the bottom i'll probably put a cut right about here maybe one of these edges so maybe this one right here or this one and then on the inside i want to add a cut as well so around here is probably fine right 
And now let's add some cuts along the side sections so that our um, shells can unwrap. So I'm gonna double click here. And because we have this edge cut and this one, if I double click here, it should stop where the other edge is. Sometimes it doesn't, so you just wanna inspect that. But in my case, it did, it's perfect. And um, let's cut along the inside as well. So over here, just gonna double click here and cut there as well. Actually, let me bring back the grid again. So I cut there and that should unfold fine. For an object like this, it's probably perfectly fine. You can probably just cut along here. If you want to have a little um, less distortion, you could quarter this or have it so you would cut here as well but i think this will be fine and if it isn't we can cut again so now that we have our cuts let me just show you uh first go to your select tool so press q or click on this icon and um let's go into object mode as well so make sure your object is selected and over here if i hold down the right mouse button i can choose uv shell and i can select these and you can see that these have been separated I don't need to move them apart, but I just want to show you that these shells have been separated. And now we want to unfold these. So over here in your UV toolkit, down here you have an unfold dropdown, and you also have an unfold um, option. So we'll select all these shells and click unfold. And there you go, our shells are unfolded. And then down here, we have an arrange and layout option as well, or options, I should say. And I'm going to orient these shells. There we go. Now let's um, do a layout of these shells. So we'll select all these shells. Again, make sure you're in UV shell mode. And then we'll select all these shells. And then we'll go to the Modify tab. Down here, you have a layout option. I'm going to open up that option box. And then I'm going to reset this as well. So I want to turn on Rotate Shells. I want to give it the option to rotate shells. And I want to give it a bit of padding as well. So over here, I'm going to give it about six pixels, both in the shell and the tile padding. There we go. And then let's click Layout UVs. And you can see that it's laid this these out. It might be a little bit hard to see my UV border. So let me um, adjust this or let me show you. So I'm going to go to the View tab. Down here, we have a grid option. So I'm just going to turn that on. And let's... Um, increase maybe the tile line. So actually it came back. So there is a bug sometimes it doesn't show up right away, but I did have it so that these are revealed more. And when I opened up this window, this came back. So you can see now I have um, the grid lines more visible. There we go. Just gonna close this. All right, so um, this is great. My shells have been laid out and let me take you through my um, kind of checklist of things. So first I wanna select the second icon, which is Shaded mode, right? Shaded mode will allow me to see whether the shells are flipped in the correct direction or not. If they show up as blue, that's correct. If they show up as red, you'll want to select the shell, go to the modify tab and flip those. But mine are blue, so that's perfect. Then the third one is UV distortion. So UV distortion will show up as red or blue. Uh, red would be um, it's um, showing some tension and blue would mean it's a little bit stretched. In my case, there's just a bit of pink, and this is um, very re reasonable. So you can definitely go with this. And if you want to um, have a little less distortion, you could cut along the middle and unfold it again. But for me, this is great. And then um, the last one I check is the checkerboard. What I'm looking for here is that the checkerboard squares are roughly the same size so that the resolution is even across the shells. Um, if I take a look, it's not too bad at all, so I will leave this the way it is. So yeah, this is UV Unwrap now. Let me turn off the checkerboard. And let's go back to our um, regular uh, workspace. And our object is now UV Unwrap. That's all there is to it. Very quick. An object like this um, usually doesn't take much time. So in the next part, we will um, do a render of it. And yeah, so we'll see everyone then.